The importance of metadata collection for the purposes of national security is clear when one reviews the successful use of metadata. The metadata may be used exclusively to ground an investigation or more likely in conjunction with other information, possibly through the obtaining of a warrant that facilitates the capture of key information that acts to successfully thwart attacks or other criminal activity. Significantly, it is useful to remember that operations involving the use of metadata are not always disclosed to ensure that national security capabilities are not revealed. Despite this, a handful of successful operations in many countries have been disclosed over recent years and provide significant insight into the capabilities of metadata as part of the tools of an effective national security process. In Australia, authorities report that they have a strong history of damaging terrorist plots with the aid of metadata. For example, it is now public knowledge that the targeted retention of metadata by the Victorian Police, the Australian Security Intelligence Organisation and the Australian Federal Police over 16 months through Operation Pendennis disrupted a terrorist plot against the 2005 AFL Grand Final. Additionally, the Attorney-General stated in December 2013 that Australia's intelligence in the form of metadata has also helped to prevent at least four attacks in Southeast Asia in the last decade, and contributed to the arrest of over 20 terrorists in Southeast Asia. In the United States, officials have acknowledged that metadata has been key to thwarting threats to national security. While details of thwarted plots are scarce in order to protect ongoing national security operations, three examples have been publicly disclosed in recent times. It has been acknowledged that NSA-provided phone records led authorities to identify a terrorist financier in San Diego. The financier was arrested in 2007 after the analysis of relevant metadata. Metadata compiled by the NSA was also used to thwart a 2009 plot to attack and cause serious damage to the New York City subway system. Once the source of the plot had been established, the phone records collected relating to the perpetrator led investigators to his terrorist associates in other US states. Finally, a plot to bomb the New York Stock Exchange was thwarted in its early stages because the NSA was able to identify an extremist in Yemen who was in touch with a man in Kansas City. This web of linked metadata communications enabled investigators to identify co-conspirators and prevent an attack. While for obvious reasons public information about the success of metadata collection is scarce, it is clear that both serious criminal offences and terrorist attacks have been thwarted through the aid of metadata, many of which undoubtedly would not have even been known about until it was too late. The secrecy surrounding the gathering and success of metadata collection does often draw criticism. However, similar to more traditional forms of warfare and the secrecy of these operations, it appears obvious that strategic plans and operations should remain as confidential as possible to ensure that national security is not compromised and the tactical capabilities of the state are not exposed. There seems to be significant debate about the efficacy of cyber surveillance and particularly that pertaining to metadata collection and analysis. For some, while accepting the need for national security measures, it represents too invasive a step. Bruce Schneier, who has already been featured in this MOOC, regards these measures as a very costly insurance policy of negligible effectiveness. But for others, they see the value in maintaining such capabilities. We have previously heard Mr. Ren Gady of the National Counterterrorism Centre speak to the value of such information and its utility in maintaining national security.